this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File Shop, as you could tell. And I am using the cut file that is called Build a Sky. I am taking some photos of my daughter that are horses and I'll explain a little bit later in the video. What I am using here is the Build a Sky, which is just a bunch of clouds, and I cut them out on my Cricut. I used the very thick marshmallow cardstock and did some gesso on there. As you can tell, I missed a spot, but I don't care. It turns out perfect in the end. I am using um, Snowway Man, Shimmer's um, Baby's Breath, and the other blue. I did Snowy Man and um, I'm looking here. Oh, Cold as Ice. That's the two that I'm using. And I am drying all of these pieces off to have the color really stick out. I really enjoy how this um, layout turned out and how this looked. Now, this is... I had to let it dry, so I had to stop, and then I came back. Obviously, I'm taking the same colors, and this time I didn't gesso. The heart, the clouds, I gessoed. This, I did not. I wanted it to soak in and get some different color tones um, because my title is going to be called Cloud Nine, even though my daughter's riding a horse and we're definitely not in the sky, by all means. But the title of it matches the description of the photos. Fantastically fantastic. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I did do some um, spraying and I just kept going back and forth, back and forth until I achieved really what I wanted. I then also stopped the video, let this dry, made sure that it didn't um, like bow too much. And was able to um, get it dry, get it flat as much as I possibly could. Put some cardstock from Close to My Heart on the back to back it just to give it that little bit of an edge. And then that was all I did for the background. Now, I am using the January Hip Kits 20, the 20, 2021 kits. And it had this rainbow. And I had to cut both of them. So that I could be able to achieve what I wanted here. But the part where you see the line and that little bit of cloud, it changes. Because as I start to place things down, you don't even know that I used two of, or like the two papers that had the rainbows. And I cut them up. So here I am. This is where I said that it is um, calling the title Cloud 9 is because I placed the rainbow and the photos in the clouds to make it this sky themed like photograph and um, treated it as she was in the clouds because my daughter was able to ride a horse for the first time in her life and she took a little bit of a not like riding lessons but riding lessons to be able to learn how to ride a horse this was the last like event that my daughter did in um, 2020 before all crazy broke loose in the world. This was done on March 14th, 2020. March 15th is when I got the phone call that we were shutting down for two weeks. And then after that, it was all she wrote. You guys remember how this went, how this all worked, all of that jazz. But this was the very last thing. I seriously thought that she was going to be playing soccer in a couple weeks. We were just taking a couple weeks off. I mean, I wasn't oblivious to what was going on in the world, but I was hopeful that we just needed to lock ourselves down for a little bit and call it a day. I remember exactly when I thought we're in it for the long haul, and that was on my anniversary last year. I told Josh, I said, we got to go to, we have to go to Walmart get her things and we're locked in like I'm not going anywhere like we're locked in this is the last time so I remember we went out to eat um, for the last time in a restaurant on our anniversary it was uh, um, Josh's favorite restaurant and we went and picked up groceries at Walmart and realized we couldn't get any supplies any of that and that's when I told Josh I said yep we're in it we're done 
that's all she wrote. And sure enough, that's all she wrote. We, <laughs> we still, I mean, you guys, you guys know I post a lot on social media. Like I, I mean, I do really well of, you know, not blasting what I do on social media out there, but I do do quite a bit of it. And let me tell you, I was stressed a little bit on how I was going to make this all work in the year. And then we got orders in the midst of all this. And I was like, Josh, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Like, you go overseas, this is not a normal deployment. And it's not a normal deployment. We're still stuck in the pandemic, you know, doing things. Are we trying to get stuff better? Yeah. But is it getting better? Yeah. But I'm still here rolling with the times, trying to get everything done. Still not really going anywhere. I mean, I had, yeah, I had my good friend Fran and Bree come down, but that was the first time I had anybody in my house that stayed in my house other than my one little babysitter that comes and helps me on the weekends. Other than that, no one's in this house. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my, like, but, wow. But, you know, it is what it is. We all have our different ways of dealing with things and yeah. So anyway, that was what this was and my thing is is that Josh is huge into like horse riding and all of that and I am not. Like I will tell you, I am a city slicker from days due. Like no, you on a horse? Really? No. Will I do it? Sure. Do I want to? No. So this for her and for Josh was like a big moment. Um, this was at a birthday party that um, we went to, that I went to, and it's my next door neighbor's um, birthday party. And this was like the last thing that any of us really did. And then, um, you know, things started to get to the way it was. So I do have some photos. I am officially... All done with Kaylin. Once I get done with all of these, which you'll see the next few layouts I have, I have um, three layouts. I think I should be able to do maybe two, maybe two more. But um, I think there's going to be a total of four layouts that will be on my channel for this last event, and then her year is done. So normally I don't finish until at least May because I've got you know graduations and. All of this stuff, and this year, no, nope, not so much. And this, um, for, to, um, for, um, her birth, or for her last part of the year, the April and May, I put into the quarantine because it was very different. I wanted those set differently than, like, what her normal year would be like, um, in her book. That's, like, in a whole nother book itself, so... Yeah, I am almost done with her year. And like I said, I do keep up. I do know that I have to print out some more photos because I'm getting pretty low. But that's okay. I want to clean up what I got before I start to bring in more so I can stay organized and keep organized. Because you all know, I got to be organized. So here I am. I'm placing all the little bits and bobs of embellishments here and there just to make it still very girly, still very dreamy-like. Still um, acting like it's, you know, in the clouds, but yet I'm adding flowers, I'm adding little hearts and greeneries and starbursts and all of this stuff. I do come in with um, some Pink Fresh Studios. They're a purple, mint, and a pink color that matches this collection really well. And I'm using those up too, and I'm making those all nice and pretty on there and just adding that little bits and bobs um, on there and then that is pretty much what I'm calling it's like it's calling it it and I just love how this turns out it's just super duper gorgeous I am scrapbooking with um, my friends like I always do and um, there will be a couple of times I realized that I, I was talking away and doing things like my title <laughs> I put down cloud nine and I realized I forgot to hit the start button. That's what I get for when I'm scrapbooking with friends, you know, and you're on Zoom and you're talking away and you're doing things. You forget to hit the start button or the play button, you know, the recording button. But I am almost done with it. I think I do. Yep, yeah, there they come out. 
I do do these on there and then I know that I stop and then I do come in with some splatters. It's the Tuscan Sun, Sun splatters and I splatter those up. Here I am, I'm placing some of the hearts down or some of the glue dots down and I think I hit the pause button on this. I may or may not, I can't remember. And I just did this layout too. Um, I'm still on spring break. Yay, I'm so excited. I got a whole week off. Um, when I do this voiceover, it's Tuesday. I am going in to get my COVID shot. So I will give you some updates along the way on this because I know that this goes up on the 9th and I did my COVID shot on the 6th. So let me see how this goes. I'm telling you. So I'm just rounding this out. I hope that you go check out Virginia over at Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File Shop. And I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.